Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey all, welcome to our next project for our altered book. Did you keep your leftover pages? We're gonna need it again. And we're also gonna need some gesso. I want to tone it down a little bit, but I don't want it completely cover up the, the text. So I use a wet wipe so that I get only a light layer of gesso onto my page. And I'm not overly concerned about perfection. That's about all. I want. Now that need to dry and I'm gonna use the heat tool. Next we're gonna need a standard size printer paper. I'm gonna zoom you slightly out. Here we go. Because I wanna print on that. And um, I do have a low tacky painter's tape. This is one for, from Tisa. It's for delicate surface. Because uh, when I want to print on this uh, book page, I need to be able to remove the tape later. I place it somewhat in the middle and make sure that I don't have any bulk going on so that I have it straight with no air in between because we have to run it to the printer and you have to run it to a laser printer I'm gonna go up to my laser printer and I will be back so that's what it looks like now now I'm gonna remove the tape And on the side here I have I have the foil here. Yeah, how we're gonna foil it. And on the side here I have my little uh, laminator thingy. It's just an ordinary laminator, nothing special. And I do have this foil here. Again, exact measurement. I usually eyeball things. <laughs> I'm just not too much of a measurer. And now that hopefully gonna work. This kind of technique works only with laser prints. So if you don't have access to a laser print, just make your, your um, paper ready for going to the copier shop. So that's what we get liking it and um, I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of um, those uh, water soluble markers just to add a little bit of something something and I have a non-stick surface so I only want a light application so I won't paint it directly maybe I gonna yes I gonna you have to test it I want that a little bit more wingy like. This is a sketch I made myself quite a while ago and um, just so that you also can have it I'm gonna put it up again on my in my free member area so you can download it it is a PDF file, 
and you have to adapt the size to what you need and I actually think I'm gonna go with some chaser in some areas to cover up some of the foil that did transfer the good thing the chesso doesn't stick to the foil so I did uh, paint with chesso over this area but you simply make your finger a little bit wet and you can get rid of some of the chesso okay now that has to go into our book I think I'm gonna paint this page to have uh, com completely covered the letters this time the text just to change it up a bit which means I first have to chesso it a little bit Just making sure that those flaps are down and I don't care if the gel is dry or not I don't think it makes a difference So I decided to add some of this green lime yellow color. I gonna cover it completely. Oops, maybe a little bit too much. We'll see. <laughs> I really don't want to see the right thing if I can help, which seems to be oh still looking too. So it means I have to add a second layer. So I decided to go in with uh, more covering paint. It's from Pipio. It says it's matte turquoise. It's very covering. So high pigmentation, extra covering, excellent light fastness. So let's see. I do add a little bit of structure by flipping and turning my foam brush a bit just because I can. <laughs> So my page is dry and now I have to decide how I want to use it and I think I'm going to tear around the dragonfly, I just think it would be nicer. So that's gonna go here and then I have the quote I want to write down and that is leave ordinary behind and I'm kind of feeling it's a little bit empty here so I think I'm gonna grab from for some napkins or for a stencil I go for a stencil I just decided I'm gonna use some champagne colored modeling paste just felt like i want some dimension also it's gonna not gonna be easy with the bend here but i i'll do my best <laughs> now i'm gonna use a spatula and 
I make sure that I don't have any modeling paste down below here because I want to write with my pit pen and that's kind of hard over modeling paste. And I'm not going for perfection again. I rarely do. I want more a grungy, vintage, beaten up, used look. <laughs> It's difficult as I said because it's bumpy and bended and there's already so much stuff going on inside the book so but again I'm not gonna fill up every bit of pieces of this stencil just part of it I know it's not very visible, but I'm gonna go in with some black later in. I don't want to add the uh, gel medium to the top part this time, just don't feel like. And I'm not overly concerned that it has to be completely down, it just has to hold. <coughs> so that's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.